talked did. about the, the physical part of you know the bye week and getting better physically, but mentally, do you feel like talking with some of the guys over the last few days, they're mentally back? Yeah, I mean, I think that, uh, you know, we are. I mean, I don't think it was, you know, it was just a focus of just recharging and making sure that uh, we're really focusing on the details, not only of our of our job, but, you know, everything that we have going on outside of, you know, of football. There's, there's a lot of things that, you know, everybody does. Obviously, we dealt with Thanksgiving. You deal with family. You deal with um, – you know, the holidays coming up, and, and really our, our season now is just starting here with the NFL. Um, you know, everybody looks and sees what, what the college's season is, is essentially done, and then you know, we're, we're just getting started. And uh, that, that's how this, this thing goes, is how you, how you play in December and January and after Thanksgiving. So hopefully we're ready to go. Mike, since you've gotten here, you, you guys have had a lot of success in, in the first game after the bye, 3-0. So far, is there maybe anything to that? Uh, maybe just the reset or, or the, the preparation after kind of a, a week off that kind of has helped you guys. Do you, what do you think? Maybe can you you can point to why you guys have had success there? We've probably played better, you know, in those games. We've probably played better than the other team. So, you know, we try to prepare the same way. We really do, Ben. I know it's your first year here with us, but. Well, that, that's a that's a short answer to a long question. You mentioned screens the other day. Uh, obviously, having more success with them. Is that something you have to practice a lot, considering the intricacies of all the people on the move? There are in the role changes. You know where you where you have to stay up outside the tight end box. You know, I think that that was something where people were, you know, fearful that that maybe you you couldn't have success running those types of plays. Um, you know, with the mobile block, with the with the lineman or or a tight end out in front and staying up, um, but I think that's something that that we worked on. I think that that's um, you know everybody has a, an assignment and the coverage changes and the, you know sometimes the linemen have to go find different guys that are in different places. So you know, I think that we've we've just done a good job of of one coaching it and then also most especially is is just executing it. Again, a ramp up preparation, everything for this week. What's your message to to the guys? You know, as they begin to filter back into the building and you shift to uh, a, an actual game week from the bye week. And yeah, just focusing on the basics, the same thing that we focused on on Monday. Um, you know, making sure that that all the little things and the fundamentals for your position and the details. You know, a lot of those things, you know, how we block and tackle. Um, you know, is critical. Different from Trevor Lawrence the first time you played him. Well, I mean, I think that obviously extremely talented, mobile. Um, you know, the, there's been some, you know, some some they've gotten down in some games, you know, which have forced them. You know, I know that he's he's really really good in, in play action and in some of those half rolls and the, the throwbacks. You know, really for him to be able to, to move the launch point and him throw back and he hit a couple of those on us and. You know other people as well. So, um, arm talents there. He makes a lot of throws, um, and, and he's willing to stand in there and, and, and take some shots too. You talked about the season just getting started. What is it that separates teams in December, January? What, what type of football in your mind? Well, I mean it's it's um, it's sound. It's it's not um, sloppy. You know, taking care of the football. You know, you're efficient throwing it. You know, you can stop the run. You know, teams that tackle well, teams that uh, are sound and, and explosive on special teams, and everything that we really look for. It's just, you know, just trying to eliminate bad football. You mentioned, I think, the bye week that you kind of noticed the team was playing not as quick or, or, you know, less speed than it had been after 12 straight weeks. Is that like an eye test thing, or are there actual numbers, you know, to, that that you use? To, no, to I mean it's hard to. You know, with the numbers is just a, um, it, it's just a max speed. So I really don't go much by that. I just, it, it was an eye test for me is, you know, how, how we looked at in certain games and, and how we looked in those games. You also talked about practicing with speed. Do you have a sense of, of how much you'll be able to open things up this week? Well, we should be able to practice. You know, we should be able to practice with, with speed and, you know, take it day by day. When you see guys like Ben or Roger or Jack Rabbit, guys that have been in the league a long time, that 
maybe you have to pace them some during the course of the year? How much does a buy benefit those older guys that are, that are coming back in now? Well, it's not going to help Rabbit at all. He's not going to probably practice today. He'll be out. Um, but, I mean, I think that probably some of the bumps and bruises and – you know, might that you might have to ask them how they feel. I don't get any indication that they feel any worse than they did, before, you know, a week ago. Sometimes some of these new guys like Hillier came in really learned things very quickly. Wonder how Tate is doing in that regard. Has he, you know, been been quick to to learn things uh, as far as you can tell? Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean, they just, you know, each guy that. Um, probably goes through some new team experience and been with a new team or especially anybody that comes in in the middle of the season or towards the end. Um, you know, they, we've been really lucky and we've been, been able to get a lot out of some of those guys. You see different coaches like rely on whether it be like Marv Levy, he, he used to quote General MacArthur for weekly messages and stuff like that for you. Where do you gather that? Is this just something that just kind of pops in as it comes from reading? Or where do you gather your, your messages? Well, I mean, I think that there's a lot of uh, places that you try to, you know, draw on things that can help the team. And, you know, I don't think it's, it's necessarily one person. Um, but, you know, we just try to figure out where we're at as a, as a team and what we feel like we need uh, and what might be, um, you know, critical to, to focus on each week. You had mentioned um, Ron Rivera, Bill Cowher, uh, obviously Coach Belichick as well. How much did, like, playing for Cowler and, and Belichick and then your relationship with R Rivera, how much does that influence, like, your ability to relate to players? Because it seems like their guys really love them and it seems like your guys love you. I mean, I think it's all about just building relationships and, you know, we've been through this about being able to hold players accountable and I think there has to be a connection there. Uh, you have to make a connection with them, um, you know, to hold them accountable. You know, we all have a job to do, and, you know, we have to be on time. We have to be where we're supposed to be, you know, doing what we're supposed to do to, to help the team win. And um, when, when you find a way to, to make a connection with them, you know, then, then it, I, I think, makes it easier to, to hold them accountable or at least how they interpret it, you know, that you're not just singling them out and, you um, you know, obviously you have to, to do things that are in the best interest of the team and, and make sure that everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing. You guys scored 43% of your points in the second quarter. Do you have any feel for why the production's so out of whack there? I don't. Uh, Ryan needs to take any less chances given the state of the, the receiving core and his chemistry with guys or... We need to take care of the ball. We need to, you know, maybe be productive when we throw it. We take care of the quarterback, run good routes. Um, you know, as, as far as chances, you know, I don't know. I mean, we're going to have to we're gonna have to throw it on Sunday, and uh, we have to be very um, conscious that, that the decisions that we make with whoever has the football are, are making good ones. And uh, sometimes uh, when we turn it over, it's. It's the person that's holding the ball, and then sometimes you know there's other people that help contribute to that. So hopefully we can all focus on doing our job to take care of the football or the person that has it. I think that that was the critical. That's going to be a huge key, uh, whether we're blocking for somebody, or whether we're finishing, or somebody's coming in from the backside, and it's um, you know it's a backside block that maybe nine times out of ten wouldn't have much impact on the on the play. Um, all of a sudden has some impact on the play and, and the ball comes out. So trying to show those guys those examples. Um, you know, only one person can carry it uh, or, or throw it at a time. So hopefully the other 10 can, can do their part in taking care of the football as well.